Hey guys, I just wanted to talk to you for a minute and tell you how excited that I am. I made my new backdrop and I've been working for about a month now on trying to get my YouTube channel going. It wasn't really my initial vision to be having a YouTube channel, but as I started to blog and I started my website and I've been growing my Instagram page, I really am still trying to even figure out what my message is. And I really wanted to make sure that I was making quality videos and that my sound quality was good, my video quality was good. I didn't want to have to keep, you know, filming with my bedroom as the backdrop. It was kind of becoming impractical and the lighting wasn't always the best and the backdrop didn't always look the best. So I was lusting after having a, a good backdrop to use. So, so I decided to go ahead and document myself going to the store, getting the things I need. I went to two different stores, actually three different stores to get the things I need and I'm gonna show you how to make this really adorable, simple and inexpensive backdrop. It's especially inexpensive if you're like me and you like fashion and you happen to have a spare garment rack around the house. If you don't have a garment rack, I would say get one if you're gonna do this project. They're only like, I don't know, 15, 20 bucks. After I recorded this video, I realized that it would actually be better if you are going to buy a garment rack to get one that is not shiny like matte black or matte white because the shine of the silver pipes can sometimes cause a glare in the camera. So take that into consideration, guys. But if you do have it, then you're in luck. You can get Christmas lights for like a dollar and then get the fabric. You could probably go with a yard and get the fabric for like five bucks or however much you wanna spend. Okay, I hope you enjoy watching me make my backdrop and how quick and easy that it is and you can do this too. It's adorable and you can just do anything with it. There's so many choices of fabric. I thought it would be pretty much versatile to just go with black spandex and then I got this adorable like iridescent fabric to go over it. And I even did this one with like crushed velvet, which I love. And this was just a remnant at the fabric store. It was like $3. And I love it because it's stretchy. So that's the other thing about the spandex is like this is stretchy. So even though this one is not stretchy and it has wrinkles, I'm gonna have to iron this. This one actually does have wrinkles, but it's stretched like tight. Like, see, I have these little clips but it's stretched tight, so I didn't even have to worry about ironing it. And I wanted to share this really cool little DIY, and I think it's gonna be really helpful for me, and I think it's gonna be helpful for you, too. All right, guys, we're here. We're at Hobby Lobby. Here we are, fabric heaven. I found one that I love. I know it's kind of bright, but I love that it's like variegated. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Although there were a lot of fabrics that I wanted to get that day, I decided to just keep it simple and go with the black. I got this cheap remnant that I love, the crushed velvet, and also the sheer iridescent. But I'm gonna keep adding to my collection. The fabric is super easy to store and you can just keep getting new styles. Now I have to go to Home Depot to get my clips. You guys like my Fashion Nova sunglasses? Well, I'm really excited because I found a couple fabrics that I like. I'm not exactly sure if they're gonna work out. I went the safe route and got black, saw the black spandex. I think it's gonna be really functional. Um, and I got <laughs> like another sheer fabric to go over it. Now I'm heading to Home Depot and I'm going to see 
picky about getting those clips. All right, we are at Lowe's. I decided to come to Lowe's. Clips, 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 clips. I don't see the clips. The two inch or the one inch, but they were only 50 cents difference. These are 298, these are 248. So I'm just gonna get all of these and see what I need at home. And I'll take some of them back. All right, so we got the clips. So I'm just gonna go home and set up my new backdrop. Can't we? Here's the finished backdrop and I used this foldable chair that I had from Ikea. You can see me setting it up right here. The garment rack is really easy to set up and I used the clips that I got from Lowe's to hold the fabric on. And you can see I'm using these hair clips that I had from the dollar store. They're the ones that you use just for when you're doing your hair. I see them all the time like in beauty stores. They're really cheap and I actually like them better than the Lowe's clips because they have teeth and they can hold the fabric tighter and they can hold the Christmas lights um, very securely. So that's a way to save money on this project as well. And this is the ring light that I use. It's very small. I got it on Amazon, but it has two settings. It has a white setting and kind of a warm setting. And I like it. It looks cool with this crushed velvet backdrop as well. It kind of reflects the light. So anyway, I'm just getting started and I really appreciate all of you following me so far. You guys have been really supportive and I really enjoy supporting all of you too. I think that this blogosphere that we're in is really still such a kind of untapped market. I mean, it is really heavily saturated when you look at all the other people doing what we're doing. But at the same time, I feel like it's a really small percentage of the world. And if you look around, you don't really see that many people who are bloggers or have their own YouTube channel and do it regularly and do it consistently. And it's not just like, you know, you need a modeling agency or you need to like work with, you know, these big wigs to get on a commercial. I mean, we can have an influence and we can have a say and we can promote products. We can promote companies. We can promote each other. You know, we can say things and get a voice out there or promote a famous product like me I get to promote Neutrogena now I, and I feel really glad to be on this journey with all of you I know you all have your own vision and your own goals for your own channels and if you do make this cool backdrop I'd love to hear from you also I'm on Pinterest too at Kelly Bundy blog and I'll probably put this up on Pinterest so if you make it comment below and I would love to hear from you. S subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and give me a like, give me a thumbs up and click that little notification bell so that you'll know when I make new videos. Thank you for watching. Good luck and I'll see you soon. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every week. See you next time.